Today we are going to be creating our own Te Whare Tapafa worksheet, similar to this one that you can download from our Sparklers website. Grab yourself a piece of blank paper and some pens and let's get started. Te Whare Tapafa is a way to think about our hōra and overall well-being. It is a model of health and well-being. We love it because it demonstrates that heaps of things contribute to our health and well-being. Things we'd expect, like our taha tinana, our physical health, but also things like our relationships, like with our whānau and our connection to the whenua, the land and the place we live. Let's start by drawing our whare in the middle of the page. I found that by folding the page in half, it made it a lot easier so I could draw my whare in the centre. Now there are five key components of our well-being, like the poet of a marae. They keep us physically and mentally strong and make us more resilient. So these are ways we can strengthen our overall well-being and hōra. Around our whare, we will make five different sections to represent each component of Te Whare Tapawha. First up, we've got Taha Wairua. This is our spiritual health. For example, our beliefs, our values, traditions and practices that support our self-awareness and identity. Taha Tinana is our physical health. Taha Hine Naro is our mental and emotional health. Taha Fano is our social health. So this is our family, our wider Fano, our friends, our teacher, and our other supports. And Fenua is our connection to the land, our place, and our roots. Now, before we start figuring out some things we could try, draw yourself into the fare in the middle of the page. I have a lot of plants, and I live with a cat called Stuart and a dog called Rosa, so I'll draw them in with me. You can be as creative as you want here. Use paint, crayons or glitter. Go wild, whatever you like. Now under each section, I'm going to write down an activity I tried to help my well-being, and I'm gonna write down how it made me feel. For Taha Wairua, I walked to the river near my house and sat on the edge watching the ducks and enjoyed the peace and quiet. This made me feel calm and very relaxed. But you might like to try something else like lying on the lawn and looking at the sky, or try writing down some values that are important to you. For Taha Hene Naro, I painted a picture, and I felt very calm while I was painting, and it took my mind off any worries that I had, and I was also very proud of myself when I finished the painting. You might like to try something else, like singing a waiata, or take some deep tummy breaths. For Taha Tinana, I went for a big run. Now I felt very tired after the run, but I also felt very good about myself, especially knowing that I'd challenged myself. Some other things you could do to get yourself moving are play with a ball on the lawn or just run around your whare a few times. For Fenua, I tried looking after my plants. I have about 20 plants in my room and it makes me feel good to look after them. And I like to see how they thrive when I care for them. And there's nothing more satisfying than seeing a new leaf. How about you try playing outside barefoot or lie down on your lawn? For Taha Whanau, I tried video calling my friends and other bubbles. It made me feel very happy to laugh and chat with them, and we didn't feel so far apart after the call. You could also try giving someone a hug, or make someone a cup of coffee. Doing these types of things supports all the po and parts of our hōra. The key is, if they make us feel energised, relaxed or happy, they generally support our hōra. It's worth having a think about next time you're not feeling energised or relaxed or that happy. Refer to your tafare tapafa and try some of these things. If they help, then we can write them here and build up a kite of things to do to continue looking after ourselves.